this week's feast. Mac and cheese bites from the Loud House. Eleven kids, one house. Wow, that's crowded. It is crowded. I actually am one of six. So <gasps> I kind of grew up in a loud house myself. These mac and cheese bites are delicious, and they're something you can share with the whole family because yes. you can make a bunch of them. And trust me, they're going to be gone in no time. They they're are delicious. very family friendly, and mm -hmm. everyone can have their own. So let's get cooking. Yeah. Things often get loud in this house, and especially when someone steals one of the delicious mac and cheese bites from the fridge. This is why living with siblings or roommates is a nightmare. Don't take my food. Begin this recipe by cooking macaroni noodles in a pot of boiling water. Since these are going to be cooking throughout the process of frying later, you're gonna to wanna to actually cook it for slightly less time than the packaging suggests. Once this is done, remove it from the heat and melt butter in a medium saucepan over low heat. Stir in flour and salt and keep mixing until it is completely dissolved. Congrats, a basic and simple roux that will help thicken our cheesy mixture for that perfect ooziness. Crank the heat up to medium low and stir constantly until this mixture begins to bubble. Now, slowly whisk in milk to your roux, not all at once, but bit by bit so we can beat out any lumps for a smooth mixture. When the sauce is smoothed out, bring it to a boil and lower the heat to a simmer for a minute. We've made mac, we've made a roux, now it's time to make the cheese. Stir in your shredded cheddar and gruyere cheese and keep whisking until the color turns and it completely melts and combines with the mixture that was in the pot. Mmm, you can smell it right from here. Remove the mixture from the heat and stir in the cooked macaroni and use a wooden spoon or a spatula to just thoroughly mix everything together, stirring and stirring to get it all evenly coated. Now look, we could stop right here and just get to eating, but we've got a bit more to do. Spray down a pan or an ice cube tray for larger cubes with nonstick oil and then add your mac and cheese into it. We're going to cool these in the fridge for 30 minutes so that we can mold it later and it doesn't ooze everywhere. Once you remove it from the fridge, separate it into evenly sized chunks or cut it up and take each of them and mold it into your hands into an orb. Set these aside, because it's time to fry! Put together your frying assembly line. Now we got flour in one bowl, beaten eggs mixed with a little water in another, and panko breadcrumbs in the final. Take each of your macaroni and cheese balls and first coat them in flour, covering the entire surface, then dunk them into the egg, covering the surface again, and one last time cover it all with panko crumbs. Then take it back to the egg mixture one more time and then back into the panko crumbs for a full, beautiful coat. Now carefully place these in hot oil, either cooking them entirely at once or you can do half and half in the smaller pot until they're a beautiful golden brown. The pot of oil we used didn't cover our balls entirely, so we used a spoon to bathe them in hot oil and just rotated them constantly for an even cook. Now these are going to be deliciously oozy no matter what, but we wanted to go the extra mile for that iconic product shot, and so a food syringe loaded with melted Velveeta is just the ticket. A little science here goes a long way because BAM! Look at that melty goodness. Voila! You've made mac and cheese bites. Pure decadence in a bite of food and 100% worth it in our eyes. These are exactly the kinds of things you'd expect a hungry roommate to steal out of the fridge, so make sure you eat these up when you create them and don't leave any around. As always, these episodes are brought to you by our amazing patrons, and we shout one patron out every single episode, so this week's feast is dedicated to... Who's that patron? It's McShamus! McShamus. All right, Ash, you ready to take a bite into this sucker? Heck, yeah. Oh, the oozing Just... cheese. Oh, can't wait. Oh my gosh, wow, look at this. Mac and cheese, one of my favorite things to eat. Loaded inside a fried, delicious ball of gooey goodness. Sawyer would love this. <laughs> your, your child, your baby? Mm-hmm, just the, like Lincoln. I'll be the first to see. In the Loud House. Please don't feed this to children. Actually, feed this to all the children. This is delicious. This is really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan. You know what this could use? Hot sauce. Hot sauce, for I sure. I knew you were gonna say that. Do dunk I some, know him or what? Dunk some hot sauce in this sucker, and mm -hmm. you have got one of my favorite camping meals uh, would be to put like little sausages and mac and cheese together and hot sauce on it. Which reminds me a little bit of that, but in a delicious fried shell, which I love. I just love the crunchiness of fried food. Mm -hmm. When you were growing up, did you ever eat mac and cheese and hot dogs mixed mm -hmm. together? Yeah, that's what you do. You get mm -hmm. um, you get little smokies when we would camp, and then we'd stick them inside the mac and cheese, and you would dump barbecue sauce or hot sauce, whatever you want. It would taste so good. The cheese choice really good too, really oozy and melty. And then if you want to go the full Velveeta root and make it. Oh man. <laughs>
Good job. I really like this cheese combo too. Mm-hmm, Gruyere and some cheddar. Turns out if the cheese is younger, it melts better. And of course, this is the meltiest, cheesiest mac and cheese bite there ever was. And so to achieve that, we made sure that we made the cheeses really fit that profile. So you can do the same, or you can just stick a bunch of Velveeta in there like we did too and make it extra oozy. Mm-hmm. I think we nailed it. I think so too. Big fan. How I can tell? My ball is gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, you dropped a little bit of it on the ground, womp, but you ate the whole womp. thing. I ate about three of them before I actually filmed this with you and this this outro. So it is a delicious recipe. Um, great inspiration. Thank you so much for the inspiration. And of course, if you guys have more suggestions about what you want to see us make next, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget, we have a cookbook coming out. Yay! Yay! And it's going to be out April 28th, the Feast of Fiction Kitchen. Uh, it's Incredible, a little sneak peek. Ooh. 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 Okay, Pretty. sneak peek done. You can get this book when it comes out in April. You can pre-order it on Amazon. You can do it Barnes on- and Noble, Barnes and Noble, yeah. Bounds. Lots of bookstores. Uh, there's also a digital version as well. It's gonna be a great gift. It's one of those things you're gonna put on every single table at any house and anyone yep. can pick it up and go, oh, I know this, oh, I know that, oh, any yeah. Any kind of table, dining room table, coffee table. Mm-hmm, bedside table. Yeah, whatever table. 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 It's very table friendly. <laughs> <laughs> we have the table, the friendliest table friendly book that's ever been done, hey, so. Hey, <laughs> that's our new slogan. Make sure you pre-order The Feast of Fiction Kitchen. It is going to be on bookshelves and in houses very, 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 very soon. And thank you all again so much for supporting the channel yes. over the last eight years. As we always, we appreciate your support so much and we love you guys so much. And this is a testament of our love to you guys because yeah. this is it's here it. and it's amazing and you guys are gonna love it yeah so. very soon april 28th again pre-order online or check it out at the bookstore and we're gonna be doing a little bit of a book tour too when it comes out so stay posted to our youtube channel and all that stuff and we'll let you know when that happens and follow us on social media and hit the little notification bell uh, and see all of our videos. And don't forget, leave comments below. And big thanks to Patreons, uh, patrons at our patreon.com slash Feast of Fiction helped us build this set and also give us recommendations for recipes like this and to interact with us and hang out on Discord. All sorts of really cool stuff. Find out more at patreon.com slash Feast of Fiction. And we love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.